वेलकम टू माई क्लास इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद यूनिट थ्री स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल्स एंड देर इंटरप्रिटेशन वी आर नॉट डूइंग द लास्ट चैप्टर इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स फॉर इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड दैट इज इंडेक्स नंबर्स एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी टॉक्ट अबाउट वॉट इज इंडेक्स नंबर what are its characteristics and in today's class we are going to talk about what is the importance of index numbers to society it's very important to everyone especially for all so anybody who is dealing with policy making it could be any policy making it could be by the government or it can could be by business it could be by uh the agriculturist whoever what because it tells you about what has been the difference in the value of money which we can which we study taking the base year so basically it is about all about production that is price current year price into current year production and we always try to measure what has been the change has the value of money increased or decreased is it inflationary if it is inflationary the value of money has decreased all of that can be found out with the help of index numbers and let me just talk about this now you can get questions as what is the importance of index numbers so we're going to study great help to policy makers it gives comparative expression to facts it helps study changes in the value of money it is helpful in making economic forecasts it is a useful deflator of the national income that is the current year national income and it's helpful in fixation of salary and allowances which we can always say that it is about the policy making great help to policy makers so based on this uh, let me just uh, talk about all these points that are given here that let's just begin with the first one that it is it is a great help to policy makers now so what is what are these so most important is index numbers are very useful for the policy makers they help the government in policy formulation towards say inflation unemployment agriculture industrial production etc they also serve as a useful guide to the business community in planning their decisions and it is a trend of the uh, prices uh, that influence their production decisions so uh, important conclusions are drawn based on these index numbers so right so great help to policy makers as you've just seen here then uh, and of course uh, based on that they make appropriate uh, policies now uh, like uh, the sixth point there that it helps in fixation of salary and allowance also i i, I we can bring it to policy making because it helps to uh, the, uh, the employees uh, the employers to decide how much dearness allowance has to be given on the basis of the cost of living index right so that we one can make and both the government and the private business they want to know they have to know the they want there is a need for them to know the changes in the price level so that they can make necessary adjustment in salaries allowances bonus and and as i said before it's a cost of living index uh that is used to decide about these little adjustments okay the second one gives comparative expression to facts now what is, what do you mean by comparative expression to facts now what is this first of all we can just say that index numbers of great help for doing comparative study and analysis of changes in two or more series okay for example if it is said that the index 
number of prices was 160 that it means that the prices have increased by 60 percent in the current year as compared to the base year okay so uh, which means that with the help of index numbers the comparative changes in two variables becomes simple you can know about that all right so then uh, you, one can also say that with the help of index numbers the comparative changes such as say in two variables such as say may, for example maybe uh, increase in agricultural production can be compared with the increase in industrial production and also index numbers are very useful when comparisons are to be made with respect to time and place so even that now there is another one which we say that uh, the third one it helps study changes in the value of money now what, what does that mean value of money well it means that they are widely used in measurement of changes in purchasing power or the value of money which in turn depends upon the prices of the commodity and again in turn the prices of commodities are affected by various economic factors whatever they are but the changes in prices inversely is a, affects inversely affects the purchasing power or the value of money the general price index number is helpful in finding out the real worth of money compared to its face value so in a way we can say that uh, it index numbers help determine the real rise or fall in per capita income now for example if per capita income doubles in a time period and price index uh, number rises from 100 to 200 in the same time period then what will happen just pause the video and listen to the question once more and then what will happen is then the actual or the real per capita income is the same so this can be seen with the following formula that is real income is equal to current income upon the price index of the current year into 100 so you'll come to know about the real income so real income is a is current income upon the price index of the current year in 200 so that's how you will it determines it will tell us about the real per capita income then another thing is that we also talked about that it uh, it is a useful deflator of the national income or the current uh, national income so what does deflator means so inflation me inflator means inflated price and deflated means prices brought down to the base year level so that's a useful deflator now let me explain the price index number helps to adjust monetary figures of various periods for changes in prices for example the figure of national income of a country is computed on the basis of current year prices but national income at current year price does not indicate the real change in the level of output of goods and services so change in national income takes place both because of change in the volume of output and change in the price of output of goods and services now to know the real change in national income nominal national income that means national income at current price that is current year prices into current year output must be adjusted for price changes price changes how will they adjust it they will multi one can multiply it with a base year price so such adjustments are possible only by the use of price index numbers if national income at current price is divided by the price index of the current year and multiplied by 100 then what happens then we obtain the real national income that is national income free from the effect of price change once again if national income at current price uh, national income at current price so if you want to find out the real like for example a real if i'm talking about this so if you want to find out the real national income so what do we do 
So we take the current year income, current year income divided by uh, price index of the current year. price index of the current year into 100. So with that, one comes to know about, you can deflate the national income. That's how you will work out. The current year national income is often called the nominal national income. Nominal, the nominal value, okay. But the real national income actually will show that how much actually has there been an increase in the production or was it just increase in prices so that is what the index number helps us know then there is something that uh, uh, it is helpful in making economic forecasts now what happens is that uh, it's often found that we uh, index numbers it studies the not only the present or the past but we can also make some we can also forecast or we can indicate the future tendencies in the economy so that is why it is uh, often used in time series analysis so uh, studying the trends it can indicate or indicate future in tendencies so, uh, index numbers are very good uh, way of studying or forecasting, as it say, forecasting the uh, for economic uh, activity in the in the country or in the economy. And another thing is that index numbers make complicated facts simpler and intelligible. With their help, prices, industrial production, agricultural production, uh, increases in national income. Uh, that can be understood quite uh, pretty fast so uh, it makes uh, it's more comprehensible I, one can one can make uh, it it's easily understood okay i think i've covered more or less uh, mostly you've done like for example i helpful in fixation of salary and allowances also we've done this point that the cost of living index number is a useful guide to the government and private enterprises to make necessary adjustment in salaries and allowances of the workers. And it is an increase in the cost of living num index numbers that suggest increases, increase in salaries and allowances. So, today index numbers are indispensable tools of economic and business analysis. And... Uh, it, um, it's Dr. Boley, B-O-W-L-E-Y, says that index numbers are to measure the changes in some quantity which we cannot observe directly. It means that the measure of changes of those facts which cannot be made possible by any means, then those uh, can be measured with the help of index numbers. So, the, me the measure of changes of those facts which cannot be made possible by any means then those that those can be measured with the help of index numbers so the index numbers are prepared to compare physical changes over a period of time and again let me just what we've already said such changes relate to industrial production sales volume of import export and all of that so uh, you just have a look, you can get, of course, um, it is unit 3 in continuation, statistical tools and interpretation. And you can get a question, these three questions I've written, the answer is the same. Like if what first is what is the importance of index number, you can write according to the marks. If they say three marks, then just write three points. If four, four, six, six. Now what are the uses of index numbers? The same answer. And uh, next uh, question, uh, what are the advantages of index numbers? All right, so and they are indispensable tools for economic and business analysis. And these are the points 
that we have just discussed. And before I um, finish, let me just again tell you that in your notebooks, please write down these points. Open your books, make these notes, listen to what I've been saying. And I'm sure you'll be able to answer this question.